YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to I'm on Observation Duty 1, the first game. We're back, and the reason that we're back is because when Observation Duty 5 released, the developer also added achievements to all of the previous games on Steam. So, uh, because we didn't play this game when the achievements were out, we look like noobs. We haven't gotten any of the, the achievements, and we obviously can't let that fly. So in this video, we're gonna try and complete all of the achievements for I am on Observation Duty 1. It's gonna be a ton of fun. I love this game. I love revisiting it. And I hope you join us. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. All right, so for the achievements, what do we gotta do? We gotta play all of the maps. We gotta get the secret ending. We gotta get a lot of stuff. So let's just start with the new house because that is the, the my favorite map of this one. We're gonna start with the new house. Um, see if we can... Uh, can't beat it immediately. I think we're gonna be able to beat it. I was actually recently watching uh, Watching my first time playing this game again. Oh, man, it brought back so many memories this game like <laughs> It was so fun to just be completely gaslit into thinking like this is the, the game that just makes you think was that always there? Was there always a chair on that site? Was there always a painting that looked like it belongs in an insane asylum? Uh, and it's just, it's 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 a beautiful adventure. So yeah, now that we are very familiar with this game, you guys can obviously help us out. And I don't think we're gonna fail it a single time, but even if we do fail it, one of the achievements is actually to lose the game. So you have to complete every map, you have to lose. There's one achievement called Survive the Witching Hour, which I don't know, there's gotta be 3 a.m., right? 3 a.m. is the scariest time of the day. Uh, because you know you talk to, I don't know, Shrek on a Ouija board at 3 a.m. Or call Mario on the on the cell phone or talk to the red imposter sus. Um, something like that. That's the witching hour. That's what happens there. So maybe we have to survive till 3 a.m. At least that's my guess. Uh, then other achievements. What do we got? So dying so close. I'm so... What the hell? What is this? <laughs> I'm so close to the achievement die. <laughs> that's not very nice. Uh, so we need to beat both of the maps. We need to discover the secret ending or the secret We need to listen to the secret message. I think I know that we need to report a certain intruder and Get rid of huge man is also an achievement. So we got our work cut out for us. Let's see if we can do it All right, there's got to be something happening already um, There's an abyss in the bedroom. That is a weird thing. It's already set. It's already set to that that's a weird thing to start with. Also, whispering. I forgot that whispering in this game happens all the time. You want to see a huge man? You Wait. Oh, yeah. I forget how long the reporting takes in this game. I love that this screen is... I don't think it's ever been better than in the first game. The first game had the best reporting screen of all, all of them. Huge man. I love this game. This game is so chill and creepy. It's like... It's just, the, it's the perfect comfy game. It's the perfect stream game as well. It is so fun to hang out together and then just like spot everything. Now I'm pretty solid at this game at this point. I've played it enough. How long have I actually played this game? I have played this game for seven, seven hours and we're already like complete pros. Feels like much longer that we've played this. But we haven't played it in a while. I, I, I have played all these games so much. It's... It was great to, to find these games and then to see them, like, take... Uh, the shaking chair. Shaking chair in the kitchen. Shaking that booty. Uh, object movement. First game definitely has something that... Like, I like that all of them kind of have something that the others don't have. Five is probably the closest to one out of all of them. I think five is also the best one, because five has... I really love the 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 map in five that has the elevator boys those are amazing v visible scout think of the eight months and sheer i think of the 10 months that is such a new concept we haven't seen in any of the other maps that there's uh, intruders that are always there i really would like to see more of that because i know there's gonna be an observation duty six right there's gotta be um there's also a new uh, reporting system in five which is uh like where you only have to report the room which i don't think was used super creatively because what you would expect from a system like that is that there's going to be a lot of uncategorizable uh, reports. Like, that there's just something so off with the room that you can't really report it. Um, but it was mostly just, like, stuff moving. It was just a little bit more tricky. But then they also added the failure system to it, right? If you did it too many times wrong, you're, you're going to lose. Um, 
How many have we already reported? I think. Okay, so yeah, I, I think in this game we need to test. I think we've tested this before, but if you just like do a random report, it actually increases the chance of another. This has been confirmed by the dev, by the way. I remember we were testing this. If false reports do anything in the fourth game, and there were a lot of people that said that it didn't do anything. But at least for the first game, it's been confirmed by the developers outside Abyss Presence. Uh, hi there. Uh, that if you report incorrectly, the amount of anomalies increases. So if you want to, if you want to farm anomalies, you can actually spam wrong reports to uh, get more of them. So this might have been caused by that wrong report. Let's do another one. Anomalies. Show me your anomalies. I showed you my anomaly. Please respond. So I think I still remember how to do the secret ending. I don't think that's on this map. It's going to be on the other map. But I think we're just going to start by doing a solid run. So what is very scary about doing the false reports is that if you get... So we might have triggered something. Is that if you get attacked by an anomaly... I think we might have triggered that. There you go. Hi, chair. How are you doing? Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that I'm so fast, by the way, that you guys have barely had a chance to help. <laughs> I've just... I've been training for this moment. I've been training for the moment to show off. Uh, this is basically a speed run. We should should have put a timer on the screen, dude. This might be the only all achievements run speed run for observation duty that's ever been done. <laughs> Let's see how long it's going to take us, huh? We're going to get a world record right here. I've been training for this all summer. You broke my right arm last time. But I've trained for five years and my left arm is just as good. And I've come to challenge you again. All right. This seems... It's just spam, spam wrong reports. Forget. Forget. We got to do that because every time we do that, we spawn something. We spawn something, get more reports. Nothing... Whoa, is that wrong? Is that wrong? That looks weird. That looks weird, man. Is that different? I swear there's something on here. Is that really how it's always this? I There's no way that this game can still gaslight me at this stage. I've played it so long. There you go! <laughs> there is no freaking way you can do that to me. I am unstoppable. It's a little bit more... Crinkly, indeed. But that was subtle, though. But that's the thing. If you've played it, if you've been so... Uh, if you've played it so much, you notice everything. So now we expect something to show up. Um, and what could that be? I'm just going to do another one. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of you. Chad doesn't need to be here for me to play this game. I mean, dude, I remember this was one of those games. I mean, this was like a video. This is like one of my, my first observation duty. I think it's like my second or th I think it's like my third most viewed video of all time, which is crazy. Um, very glad because the game absolutely deserves it. I had a ton of fun. I actually had, which I don't usually watch my videos back. Like I, because I've been there. I was there when it happened. I know everything that happened in the video. But I actually had such a fun time watching back a little bit of the observation duty video. Because it's just like, it's just such a different, uh, back in the day, like I was, I was such a smaller, less vocal streamer. And it was just it was, a, it was a weird vibe, like, the <laughs> just me discovering if this game was any fun. I don't even remember. I think someone in the comments, at one point, like, I was uploading a lot of Phasmo videos, and then someone in the comments of one of the Phasmo videos was like, Hey, you gotta check- Oh, the sound! I can't report. Oh, God! Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Stop. You want to see something stupid here? Look at this. Toilet intruder. Booty. I click on your cheeks. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> At least let him finish. Fuck you, CJ. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> God damn <laughs> He's in this house 
Just just what you do when there's a random dude in your house. <laughs> At least gotta let him finish. Okay. Um any books here different? But yeah, I was talking so so I, I sorry I forgot. I forgot. It was uh one person. I remember there was one me message who said like, "Hey, you should check out I'm on observation duty." It's a um it's like a camera spot the it's a camera surveillance horror game. And I was like, "That sounds pretty interesting." And I just hopped in completely blind. I didn't know anything about the game uh and it just blew us away. And we kept playing it. There's a light anomaly here. Yeah. How do I... Dude, we have been wired differently. We are built different now. It took us a while to get to this stage, but now it's just... As soon as anything is different, I just immediately see it. Yeah, we got super hooked. It was so much fun. And we just, like, played it nonstop. 815,000 views on the Observation Duty video. That is crazy. And if the fun part about Observation Duty is that there's so many people that say, like, my first... So, it used to be, like, when I first... What the fuck? Shadow? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> shadow Anomaly? I forget. Is this Shadow Anomaly? I'm gonna guess it is. At least 1,000 of those are me. I, I don't know if it is. I'm just, it's a ghost? I forget what this is. It looks like a shadow. Okay, it is a shadow. There you go. Um, but that before Phasmo, it was like people came here a lot. I mean, either just randomly stumbling upon me playing any game on, um, on Twitch. Because that's just kind of how Twitch works. Uh, but my first success on YouTube came from Welcome to the Game speedrunning. And um, scrutinized speedrunning as well. That that took off quite a bit. I mean, it's 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 knee heel or nothing in comparison to the Phasmo stuff and even the observation duty stuff. Um, but so a lot of people knew me from Welcome to the Game. And then uh, when Phasmo came out, obviously I just expected everyone to be from Phasmo. Like the Welcome to the Game stuff. I mean, it was a huge part for me. And it, I mean, there's been huge parts. Like I've streamed for four tomorrow. Tomorrow. Four years ago, I streamed for the first time. It's actually exactly tomorrow. Tomorrow is our anniversary, uh, which is also when I made my YouTube channel, the exact day. I, I immediately knew I wanted to do both at the same time. I wanted to do YouTube. I wanted to use YouTube as kind of like an archive for myself. Because the reason why I started streaming in the first place was kind of just like... I remember playing games by myself and being like... Um, uh, oh, hi there. I think this was uh, this was something stupid. This was like object movement or was it extra object? Wasn't this extra object? I remember this one's always so weird. I think it's extra object. It's because you'd expect it to be object movement or something. I remember watching someone. I forgot who it was, but I remember watching someone. It was it? It was literally me. I remember watching me. <laughs> I remember watching me. <laughs> Report that and take like 15 minutes. <laughs> that, that's me. I know him. He's me. Literally. <laughs> and so yeah. And and it just like I just got completely stuck on the fucking object. I didn't know. I know that guy. He's me. Um but yeah. What was I talking about? I was just chatting. Um So four years ago, basically today, we something is different. A chair moved here. Um, I think. Just doesn't look the same. I think a chair moved to this other side. Or the table is missing. The table is missing. That's what's missing here. Something was missing. I think it's the table here. You guys help me. Let's go. You did it. Okay, it is the table. Corridor, object, disappearance. And with that false report, we might have spawned something else. So yeah, the reason why I started streaming was because... When I played games for myself, there would be these, like, super fun moments that happened that I was, like... Especially when I was playing, like, Dark Souls 3, I remember, because I used to... I'm just gonna go through everything. I, you didn't ask for my life story when you clicked on this video, but you're gonna get it anyway. Um, I remember watching a lot of Dark Souls YouTubers. Uh, that's what got me into Twitch. The first person I actually watched on Twitch was Lobos Jr. If you want to watch some crazy Dark Souls runs, you've got to check out Lobos. If you want to watch some crazy Dark Souls speed runs, you've got to check out Distortion 2. That's someone who I also used to watch. And Ella Jazz as well. Those were the three people that I watched personally when I um, 
first game on Twitch. Oh, I downloaded Twitch for watching those uh, those streamers. And I just love the whole streaming culture. The whole streaming culture is so fun. Like, uh, just hanging out with people. Like, the clip culture is really fun. Like, having super cool moments happen. Bedroom missing objects. Over here, right? The plant. Um, object disappears. The fun part about this game is that you guys are so good at it now that I can just, like, not pay attention. And then I know you guys just get it for me. <laughs> It's perfect. It's it's the perfect teamwork. There you go. Are we gonna survive the witching hour? By the way, is that gonna be an achievement? I'll check. I'll check. I'll report a. I'll report a wrong one. Kitchen. What now in the kitchen? There's nothing in the kitchen. Kitchen is fine. Open cabinet. That's always the same. That is definitely weird. <laughs> Camera. At the toilet. <laughs> Uh, we got some distortion happening, some distortion 2 happening here. Um, and then I remember watching Distortion 2 play Welcome to the Game 2, which that game was so terrifying. I remember, I remember I did one stream of Welcome to the Game 2, but it was so scary and there was no one watching that I just turned off the stream and deleted the VOD and just pretended that it never happened. <laughs> Because the game's too scary, dude. It's too scary. So then I was... Oh, hi there. That's a shadow anomaly. <laughs> that's, the, that's the benefit of no one watching. <laughs> you can just pretend it didn't happen. Uh, but now, now, I, now I broke, I broke my own secret. I told my own secret. Um, but yeah, then I remember wanting to learn how to play that game, which mostly involved me like learning the speed run because the only way to beat... That game is basically to know everything you need to know to do a speedrun. Like, the game is so fucking hard. Um, you need to basically become a speedrunner to beat it even once. But then I did a lot of speedruns and people... That, that actually did really well on YouTube as well. I mean, obviously. I mean, not obviously. Hi there. <laughs> okay. Um, nice one. I saw that happen. Um, because that's the thing. I... Like, I definitely got very lucky. Like, obviously, this is, I always find it so stupid. Like, even... Like, I think the only person who might be able to say, like, I didn't necessarily get lucky, literally the only creator who might have not gotten lucky but is just really good, is, like, Mr. Beast. Like, Mr. Beast does such ridiculous things that he probably would have gone big, no man, like, with his strategy. But now there's like a lot of copycats and not every copycat sticks off. But but like literally almost every other create like there's always luck involved. Even Mr. Beast has luck uh, on his side uh, by just be. I mean, obviously, if you because like he might be good in what he does, but he was like, let's just be like, like he was born in a place where you have access to the Internet easily, uh, where he had money to start off his channel. He was in a place in his life at the time that he didn't have to, like, support his parents, work outside. Like, there was free time involved. So, yeah, there's always luck involved. Like, even if you're really good at what you do, there's always luck involved. Just just stay a little humble. Don't, don't let it flow through your head. Nice picture. Nice picture, which I try to do. Um, painting anomaly. But that's not very helpful to analyze success. Like, luck, you shouldn't get lost in the survivorship bias. Like, uh, thinking that, oh, what this person did should be the only thing that we should pay attention to because they're successful. Um, that's, that's like a classic survivorship bias. But it is more useful to, or like, look at... It is more useful to look at what someone might have done to get successful than to just go like, oh, it's all luck. Let's throw it away. Let's not learn from anyone. Um, so yeah, what I personally did is do things that literally no one else does. <laughs> like I used to do Welcome to the Game 2 speedrunning, which no one else did. No one was speedrunning except Distortion 2, which um, Distortion 2 is still a friend of mine. Uh, which is kind of crazy because I used to look up to him a lot. Also, there's a building missing and there's a light anomaly. How did we not see this shit? Let's do outside instead. Outside light anomaly first. Um. Yes! Fuck, I suck. <laughs> the reporting is so slow. Come on. 
Go, 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 go. Uh, and then we also have a missing object that I that I didn't see yet. And then we have another thing. What is another thing? Um, the carpet. Okay. Well, easy then, I guess. But uh, what the thing was, like, the thing with doing stuff that no one else does is that a lot of the time... People won't give a fuck about you, <laughs> but they will only care about the stuff you do, which is totally fine way to build a channel at the start. Because I remember, like, even though the stuff that I did for Welcome to the Game 2 was pretty successful, it led to very few regular people sticking around. Like, they were mostly just interested. Hey, this is pretty cool. Welcome to the Game kind of sick. And then they just, like, left, which is totally fine. Um, that's always, like, something missing out here. I think we did. We just caught four different things, right? I think we're good. Unless we're, unless something is still missing, let's pay close attention because we have no more, uh, no more lifelines here. Three different things still. I think at three, it starts doing the beepity boobity bop. So it might have just been the witching hour. <laughs> let's go. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, I gotta, I gotta change the, can I pause the game? Pause the game. I gotta change the capture so you guys can see the achievements when they pop up professional streamer okay now you should be able to see the achievements pop up so we just got the witching hour because we completed 3 a.m i did get that was a correct guess the correct guess that the witching hour had to do with 3 a.m i like that one okay pay attention though we're 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 in potential danger zone mirror wait what something missing there's something missing right here wasn't there a thing down there or what now was there something toilet missing object or what or not. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? I think so. Wasn't there? I think there was something right beneath. Like a radiator or something. There you go. That might have been the fourth thing. But yeah. And then for Phasmo, I remember... Um, I remember like playing it and noticing the same kind of things that I noticed for Welcome to the Game 2, that the game is so hard that unless you're a no-life idiot gamer like me, you're not gonna know how to play the game. So I was like, what if I just... And I love the game. The game's super fun. So I played it a lot and I actually learned how to play. And then I made videos on like me doing stuff that you probably couldn't do unless you played the game a lot. And then people were like, wow, that's kind of cool. That that game's pretty sick. And then eventually, after like a year or something, people were like, okay, so he they like these videos on Phasma are pretty cool. But that guy also is kind of nice. So that that was that was pretty awesome. So now you guys are also sticking around for other stuff, as well as people that came from this. The bedroom cam? Bedroom cam! Which the um, observation duty was the second thing. Uh, give me camera. Oh no! If we if we lose, it's fine because we gotta die. <laughs> because we gotta die once, so it's fine. Um, but it took me a long time to even dare play other games uh, than Phasmo for a while. And there's still people that come in whenever we play something else. Uh, it's like. There's always those few people that are like, why are you not playing that one game that I know you play? Okay, hello, how are you doing? We can't actually look at you a lot, I think, because you're actually killing us. Uh, I think I have to look away. Let's get a screenshot, though. Take a quick screenshot. I'm looking away. We can't look. I think last time he killed us. <laughs> I hate that guy. <laughs> Kitchen door? I think that's... Oh, chair's missing. Chair's missing. But yeah, uh, observation duty was the thing after um, Phasmo that people also found me for, which is kind of kind of crazy. That's why we started this whole story, that it was the made me realize like, wait, there's other stuff that is also that still has potential. They're shaking, shaking. She's shaking. Object movement. Right there. Look at that. Very nice. Toilet. Bad toilet. Beautiful. Beautiful! I think we're perfectly fine. I forgot that this this game is a lot slower. In terms of, uh, like, actually finishing a night. We have no more warning, so we need to be careful. But yeah, playing, um... 
doing a lot of stuff that that I have never seen this one. What? A new ghost? Holy shit. I need to move away. It's probably gonna kill me. I've played this game so much and I've never seen that anomaly. That is sick. All right. I'm gonna report a few false now because I need to spawn more because we only have an hour and we would love to see huge man happen. Uh, door, door, kitchen, door opening, closing. Easy peasy. The cabinet is always open. Rain, bad rain fever, then you have the two months. Yeah, this game is super fun. It's also nice because we can chat a little bit. Close that door, thank you. It's a, uh, I played recently. Like, these maps are, I, th I think one of the second map, or like one in Observation Duty 2, the map a lot of people recognize from, um, from, uh, VR chat. And then a lot of these maps are like Unity assets. So sometimes you'll be playing a game and you'll all of a sudden realize that you're walking around in one of the, one of the Observation Duty houses, which is always fun. Okay. Um, anything off. 5 a.m. We can do this. We just got to win now. I mean, we'd love to see. So no. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Let's go! Boom! He's here! We did it! <laughs> Let's go! Go on. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Huge man! Huge man! <laughs> He's here. Look at him. I gotta look away. I gotta look away. He's gonna kill us, dude. You know what happens when you when you look at huge man for too long. He breaks your neck. Let's go. There you go. I am not an intruder. I was not expecting to get that one. I thought that was gonna be a hard one. I am so glad we got the huge man on the first pass. This is truly an uh, all achievement speed run now. If we can get... This might actually be the fastest you could possibly do this. If we do it perfectly, there's no way you could finish this faster. Because the fastest you could possibly do this, I think, is doing three runs. Maybe? Because you need to you need to do... I think you need to do four runs at least to get all the achievements. So let's see. Uh, nice mirror. That's not usually there. Huge man. Look at that. Another screenshot. Um... Corridor, extra object. There is an achievement for a flawless run? I don't know. I don't think so. I can't believe it. We saw it. We have- we can die now. We have lived, we can die now. Beautiful. This painting is actually kind of sick. All good. Comfort streamer. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, it's 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 interesting how like it's interesting how comfy the horror game communities are. Because you would expect it to be like a scary thing, but it's kind of wholesome because everyone's just kinda like <laughs> I imagine everyone's just like <laughs> blanket, like spooky games. Let's be comfy, because you're watching it, you're not playing it, right? It's a whole different feeling. Because that's what I did. I first started watching people play horror... Oh, chair missing. Uh, instead of actually playing them myself, because they were too scary. <laughs> too scary horror games. We're all just kind of sick sickos together. We're all just ridiculous. Good job. Nike, um... 99% of people. I mean, I guess by now it might not even be that. Like, there might still be a huge portion of people that also just, like, use Twitch to watch Phasmo and then find me that way or something. But definitely the, the kick in the butt to the whole channel, both on Twitch and YouTube, was definitely YouTube itself. Which is my, like... There have been people recently asking me, like, what would you recommend? Or people ask me all the time, like, what would you recommend? I want to do YouTube and streaming, or I want to be a full-time uh, content creator. What would you do? And the thing is, just, obviously, you got to enjoy it. Um, and you got to 
maybe if you can do something that no one else is doing, that would be very uh, effective. Zoberry, thank you for the five. Oh, I need to do something here. Mirror? What's missing? Thank you for the five gift subs. Wait. Anything? Oh, the guitar is going. Uh. Come on. Don't die. Don't die now. That would be such a shame. It's thick. Uh, let's look. Anything else? Uh. I don't think so. I think we're good. We fixed the, the guitar. Nice. The guitar has been fixed. The mirror looks fine, right? YouTube removing their live stream editor. I don't even know what that means. There was a live stream editor. Um, nothing. Bathroom, something's missing. I don't see it. You got to be more specific than that. Bedroom mirror. It's right there. <clears throat> what? Something off? What? I feel like this is just looks a little weird. Oh, the barrel! Uh, kitchen, extra object. Alright, that should be- with that, we should have- we should make it. I think we make it regardless. Here we go. Come on. Yep, and that was the last one. Dead new house smell. We got the another achievement. Now, let's immediately go into the other map as fast as possible. I think these secret- or back to main menu. New game, old house. Um... So this one, we also want to find a special intruder on this map. And this one is definitely the hardest because I think we've done the huge map one the most. Uh, so here we're going to need a lot of you guys' help. We could also, I think we're going to do the secret ending on the second pass through. I think we'll start with two normal runs and then uh, do the, the miscellaneous achievements after that. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is that the way that for me, YouTube just worked is like post everything. Like, when you start out, just post your streams, maybe, like, cut out specific... It, it depends on what you play. Like, for, for example, with Phasmo, you can cut out, like, specific runs that were really special, and you could upload those, uh, like, separately. Or, I don't know, if you have, like... If you do, like, Call of Duty, you could cut out, like, a game where you did really well or something, and then you could, like, upload that. Um, like, I don't know, there's lots of games that work with, like, sessions, or, like, a League of Legends game, if you, if you had, a, like, a pentakill or something, you could upload that, um, <clears throat> and just use YouTube as, like, a, like, an archive, that's what I did, I used YouTube as an archive, I would upload, because the way I used to, like, consume YouTube content was just, like, like, what I always did was, if I enjoyed a game, I wanted to see idiots play the game. So what I, not, not necessarily idiots, but like people that never played it before. So what I would do is I would search like name title, first playthrough. And then I would watch someone that ha did a first playthrough on the game. And then I would just like stick around to someone who had like a fun first playthrough on the game. Um, that's how I found most of the people that I watched. I would just uh, find their first playthroughs on games. So I kind of did that as well for a while. Like I uploaded that definitely didn't wasn't the thing that like blew up for me. Like, being a life, like, a, a playthrough person. I mean, now I kind of do that. But not... Ooh, what the fuck? How are you here? Already? Hello? <laughs> He's back. How did you... Come so early? He's completely naked. He's covering up his pee-pee. Okay, well, that's good. I think that's the... I don't think there was anything else. Turning, turning on my fans again. Hopefully not too annoying. Um, but yeah, just... just YouTube being, like, a, a place to, like, collect all your memories. Because I have actually... I'm, like, crazy. I save every single live stream I ever do. I still ha I have 8 gigabyte or 8 terabytes total of every single live stream I've ever done. And I used to stream in 720p, so it used to take up a lot less space. Now every stream takes up, like, 60 gigabytes. It's fucking crazy. I recently bought a 28 terabyte hard drive to just save all my streams. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I don't know. It's just... It's just like, it's just such a huge part of my life, the live streaming. And I, and I have a hard time just like deleting things. So I just like save them. And, and 28 terabytes last you so long. There's gotta be something missing, right? Are we bad? Pills look fine. It's 40. Something has to change. 
Um, you still have the vods of lunch, lady? Probably. There was like one. Oh, hi there. Bedroom. There was a, a little bit of time where I didn't save the streams, but that was like only a few months during the Phasmo time. Because I would upload... How did I do it then? I just like deleted them because I was running out of space. I was making so much. That was when I first swapped to 1080p video. Um, when I first swapped to 1080p video, I just didn't have enough storage on my computer to save all the streams. So I had to delete some of them. But besides that, I basically saved it all. Now I'm saving it all again. Missing plant in the kitchen. Definitely plant right there. Plant right there. We're all fine. We good? Feels so quiet this time. Maybe we should report random things because we do want to get a specific intruder as well. I'm not going to spoil which one it is, but when we see it, we'll see it. We're in there. Two plants on the table. There were. I don't think so. It is too quiet. It's always been kind of eerie in these games. That it's just complete, utter silence. That there's no, um... No background music or anything. I can't wait for para eyes as well. There's, um... There's a new pair or uh, observation duty game coming that's para eyes, or called para eyes. And it has, like, a more RPG feel to it, where you can collect... Uh, so this is what we have to click, by the way, when we want to get the secret ending. We're not going to do that now. Uh, we're going to do that next run. I remember when we first played this game, the secret ending was broken. Uh, and then the developer fixed it. That's how I first came in contact with the developer, by by wanting to do the secret ending and not being able to because it was broken. And then he, and then he fixed it. I've still had some chats with the developer. Developer is super cool. He used to thank me in the past, like, hey, thank you for uploading videos. Like, I don't know. I find it always so wholesome when, when like, developers thank live streamers or anyone to play their game. It's just so... Makes you feel very special. If you, if you want to... If you want to have a close connection with streamers, just tell them, hey, I watch... Like, comment on their video or something. Because I remember the Northbury Grove games like there was i forgot what the name of the specific game company was wasn't it like something crow or, or something they used to comment on every video that i made about their games which just makes you feel so appreciated <laughs> it's it's a good strategy if you make lots of games and you want streamers to play them missing cam which one living room what the fuck? Yeah. What hang on. <clears throat> Should be. Um, besides that, nothing though. I mean, there might be something in the living room. Dude, camera. Hey, Dona, by the way. There you go. Uh, chair's still fine. Everything's still good. The whisper. There's only whispering sounds. Was that shaking? Yes. <laughs> Yes, it is. Movement. It's very subtle. <laughs> subtle shaking. What is this game about? It is a spot the difference horror game. Where you, um... Where you can spot things like object movement, extra objects, abyss presence, or people that are naked that are just chilling in your house, or ghosts, or abyss presence, stuff like that. It, uh... Everything. Anything under the sun can happen in this. You just have to pay attention. You gotta basically memorize the layout of the house, which can be really difficult when you're first starting out, but we've already played this game so much that I expect we can beat them on command. Hopefully we will. Also, I'm reporting some wrong reports because we know that if you report wrong things, you get more anomalies. And since some of the things that we have to do in our achieve for our achievements we have to get a certain type of uh, intruder on both of the maps uh which means that the more anomalies we get the higher the chance we get that specific intruder so that's why i'm trying to trigger them also we are not seeing anything so this is kind of bad 
Because I have definitely... There should be something, given that I've done so many wrong reports. Psycho is back? Really? He did a short vacation. What the heck? You gotta take some more time off, man. Light anomaly! Light anomaly. It was a two... Two weeks? It's really been two weeks? What the fuck? <laughs> time flies, man. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, I guess two weeks is fine. Two weeks is fine. But that, that must feel... That's the thing, though. I kind of feel like three weeks is the perfect amount of time for a vacation. Because the first week of your vacation, you kind of need to get into, like, a the feeling of, like, I don't have to do anything right now. I don't have to think about work. I don't have to think about school or whatever. Um, so that takes a little bit to get in. And then the last week, you have, like, that feeling of, ah, fuck, it's so close. We're, it's so close to having the work again when I come back. Uh, but then, if you do three weeks, you have that week in the middle where you're like, it's like perfect vacation. You you don't worry about anything, you can enjoy everything on your vacation, and you have those side weeks to like buffer the, the bad feelings. Three weeks is perfect. Three weeks off work, that could never happen here. Well, I mean... Oh, it's, it's blinking again, we're not clicking that. Also, something is missing. Right? I've always found that so fucking crazy that in the US there are so few, like... I mean, there are unions a lot in the US, right? Unions, like, are a thing, right? I mean, I know, like, Amazon or other companies actively try to prevent people from unionizing, which is kind of fucking crazy. Um, but, like, here, if you do... If you do, like, any job whatsoever, you just have, like, like, a contract by default that just prevents the employer from, like, a, like, exploiting their employees by, like, firing them out of the blue. Um, I don't know, like, they need to get a certain amount of uh, vacation days and stuff like that. Like, there's lots of rights that you have as a, as a worker. Um... And I find that so crazy, especially the firing thing. Like, it's so normal to me that if you have, to, if you fire someone, like, for no, obviously, if someone doesn't show up to work, you get fired. Like, yeah, obviously, you can get fired if you're useless or doing, or like not doing your job. But, um, if you, something is wrong outside, there's gotta be something wrong, right? It's been too long without a report. But the fact that you could just fire someone, like, out of nowhere in the U.S. a lot of the time is terrifying to me. Like, that... I don't know. There's got to probably be other places in the world where that happens, too. I just know that the toilet is floating? What the hell? How did I not see that? <laughs> Moving. Um, because in the Netherlands, for example, if someone gets fired, they need to be paid, like, a huge sum of money. And they need to, like, get a few months of extra pay on top of that. Like, you... You get money to get fired <laughs> here, <laughs> which I've that might sound completely insane to people that are used to like the exploitative practices of other countries where you just get fired for no reason. But that's very normal to me that you get money for being fired out of nowhere. Also, there's a face on the painting, by the way, because like job security is very important. Financial security. There. You see the clown? It's hard to see, but I, I I have noticed this a few I like I've seen this game or this anomaly enough to recognize it now. But that that one has stayed on the screen for so long at certain points. How do we see the anomaly so quick? I've played this game quite a bit. Boxes are missing. Something? Down here? No, but, like, that's the thing. You guys are, you, the people that are, like, blindsided by the practices of their own country don't see how much sense it makes to, to, like, not just fire someone for no reason. Like, obviously, if you're bad, you get fired. Here, too. If you... Something fell. 
if you're don't not doing your job you get fired but if you're doing your job and the company just wants to go like hey uh yeah you gotta go now uh then you need to get paid because then you're just like losing your financial security because your employer is a piece of shit missing box oh, okay hi there um that's something i feel like we're gonna get our special thing soon like we're it's actually, we're not spotting them all. Sam, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Living room box. Okay. But at the same time... Wait, is there? I can do it. Living room box. Objects disappearance. But like, obviously there's other ways to... Like, if, you, if your contract runs out or something like that, like, it's only for the specific scenario where you're, like, working at a company. Like, there's so many times you hear of, like, parents of people that are, like, have worked their ass off for, like, 30 years for some, like, thankless job. And then the moment they go, like, hey, boss, uh, could I get, like, an extra week off this year? They go, like, no, you're fired. Like, that kind of nightmare scenario... That just doesn't happen here because um, because then you would have to pay the person like a ton of money to to get like to actually fire them in that way. Missing object in the bathroom. I'm like looking and I don't really see it, but I'm also just bad. Is it over here? It looks kind of empty. Oh, the first aid kit over there. Yeah, you're right. Right up here. Yes! Thank you, thank you. So yeah, there you go. Uh, that's the start of an abyss presence? Wow, we spotted that one early. <laughs> There's a little tiny dot on the ground. Look at that cute abyss presence. Look at it. It's so cutie. The witching hour. We're get well, we already got the achievement. It's tiny. <laughs> Amber size to Abyss Presence. Okay. I th I'm surprised- Oh, chair moved. Chair moved. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a warning yet. Like, I feel like- I mean, I guess we've been seeing them all then. But it just feels like not much is happening compared to the other one. Hello, hello. Hey, buff boy. Uh, what's that smack? An op- Are you gonna do something? There you go, Jesus. Report- Just report some randoms, because we still hope to get the, um... Hope to get the special anomaly, if we can. Love this game. Me too. It's so good. It's the comfiest horror game. Hopefully we don't find an anomaly that can kill us while I'm randomly reporting. That would be bad. The native, thank you for the two months. Yep, nothing. Give me some anomalies. You you know you should give them to me. You swear scared to switch cameras because there might be an anomaly. That's the thing though. That's when they get you. You change. You get a, a work in retail and you get a raise based on customer reviews on the email surveys that never, that no one does. <laughs> Wait, really? That's interesting. Oh, let's go! This is the guy, I think! You saw the achievement? That's the guy. <laughs> We're actually going to have a unbeatable speedrun. <laughs> like, unless, I mean, it depends on how fast we can die on the last run. <laughs> because we, both runs had the, had the guys that you need. Actually insane. <laughs> the all achievement speedrun. Let's go. That's still my most... 
I'm still the most proud. Like, if you ask me what my favorite video is I have ever made, it has to be the Welcome to the Game to All Achievements speedrun. That is the most work I've ever put in a single video. I remember, sh like, routing the whole speedrun for several weeks, figuring out what the most perfect and, like, optimal... Uh, path was to get all the achievements in as fast as possible using every single glitch at our disposal it was really really cool it's still like the the most technical thing i've ever done so yeah if you want to see that that is like that's that's my favorite head in the toilet oh hi there oh hi mark oh hi head extra object <laughs> So the record holder, and no one has ever completed a welcome to the game to all achievements run except me. So yeah. Also, um, no one, that is, this is the most insane to me. I guess, uh, Scrutinized, you guys know Scrutinized from Reflex Studios. Um, that game didn't get super popular. Um, it has a hardest difficulty mode. It has a nightmare mode. It has a casual mode, which I think most of the like streamers, oh, that chair moved. Most of the people that, like, the bigger YouTubers finished a casual mode. I remember seeing... Dude. I remember watching 8-Bit Ryan beat casual mode. He got so fucking salty. Because the casual mode... This is for good reason, by the way. Because the casual mode in that game, when you beat it, it says, like... You beat baby mode. You're such a baby boo boo gaga. You're a baby. <laughs> Play normal mode. It's so rude. It's so fucking rude, dude. <laughs> because normal mode is, like, basically impossible for anyone who's not, like, an, like a lifeless gamer. So the fact that you would do that to your to your players is so <laughs> insane. <laughs> but then there's... So normal mode is already, like, basically impossible. Like, it's super difficult. Um, but then nightmare mode is just, like... It was actually to a... Oh, hi there. There was a long time where Nightmare Mode was actually impossible. Like, there was, uh, the game was broken and you couldn't actually beat it. Uh, and there were, there were also, s till the end, probably to this day, there are bugs in Nightmare Mode where there are situations that can occur that you cannot prevent. They just randomly kill you. If they, like, happen at the same time, you can't survive it. Um, I, I grinded that game for two weeks straight. Like, like, 12 hours a day I would play. During, I, like, took a break from my master's thesis. That was the first time I took a break to play Scrutinized and, like, grind it for 12 hours a day. And then I finally beat Nightmare Mode. And I think we beat it, like, two more times. One or two more times after that. But to this day, there is not a single human being on this planet who has ever been Nightmare Mode in Scrutinized except me. That's the only thing... That I, <laughs> that's like my greatest achievement. <laughs> there is no one who has done that. <laughs> because it's so fucking stupid. Like, I mean, unless it, there might, there might be someone out there who spent like two weeks grinding by themselves. Didn't stream it, didn't upload it. But there, at least in terms of like YouTube videos, there is no one on YouTube who has ever beaten that game. <laughs> Adam has no way. Adam has never beaten that. Adam never beats his own games. <laughs> he just loses. And I will never go back. I will never play that game ever again. It is the it was the worst grind I have ever had. It was so awful. Like you would just play for like two hours, and then there would be that one and then one thing would show up that would just like instantly kill you, and you'd have to completely replay for like it was it was awful. <laughs> it is something that I was very glad was over when it was. <laughs> like, when I beat the- Oh, no, come on! Are you serious? Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. This is really bad. Then I do outside? Okay, okay. We need to pay attention. What is missing? Uh... So there's at least three or four things now. Wait, I'm not seeing anything? Uh-oh. Oh, what the fuck is this baby? What? <laughs> oh 
<laughs> well, that's, that's, I'll just look away from that for now. Oh, there's a camera missing! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? They're all, they're all attacking! All at once, bedroom intruder. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Get out of here. Invaded by Booba. Okay, well that's uh, that's a few anomalies right there. Is there anything more? Are we missing a cam? Um, oh, another shadow? Okay, well, nice one. Toilet, shadow. All right, what else, what else, what else? Painting in the kitchen? Is this painting different? I think this painting is fine. Hey! Oh, so I, thought, I thought you were. St I thought you came back after I reported you. I was like, what the fuck? Hey, what are you doing? There's a little baby! So many intruders all of a sudden. What the hell is going on? Look at that guy. What are the little babies? It's Dobby. Master gave me a sock. Master. Set me free. <laughs> there you go. And that's what happens when Dobby is free. He just goes to random people's houses to just chill there. Okay. Anything? Anything else? I still feel like we're missing one thing, which is very scary because that means we have to be super on top. Is there like an object missing here? One hour, come on, we don't lose, we don't lose. Please. Distortion outside? I don't see it. Maybe headphones moved? I think they are the same position. Are they? Actually, maybe. Let's do object movement here. <clears throat> it can be very... Sp I feel like we would have seen that though, but anyway. Eyeball? No, the eyeball is still fine. There can be an eyeball right here. Oh, eyeball right there! You're right! Bedroom, extra object. Oh, door opening? No, please. There you go. Nice, thank you. Hey, Cosmode. What's up? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Eyeball. Oh. So yeah, there's a... I, I talked about this very briefly, but there's a new... Oh, hi there. <laughs> what are you doing out there? Uh, there's a new Observation Duty style game coming soon that's called Para Eyes, which has a like more RPG feel to it that you can get points, which you can then use to unlock more anomalies and more maps and stuff like that. Um, and what this game has is it has a click reporting system, which basically the way you... Re oh, it's outside you piece. Um, you click on the area that you want to report, and then if you clicked on the right spot, it'll, uh, it'll fix the anomaly, which I think is a very smart reporting system, because it's always been kind of, I, that's always been kind of a, an issue with these games, that sometimes you don't know exactly what the game wants from you, like you don't know what type of anomaly you're supposed to report, but at the same time, in that, two paintings? Two for the price of one? Double painting anomaly. But what can happen in that game specifically, there's this one anomaly that'll start moving around, so you basically just have to get lucky to smash on it. And <laughs> so it's kind of... It also has its problems. There you go. Does it fix both? It does fix both. Very nice. There's a floating orb in the living room. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? What is that? Guitar moved? We can check. Also, the painting? Dude, non-stop now? Did the painting just happen while we were looking at the orb or what now? Uh, guitar? Did the guitar move? I think the guitar has always been here. Yeah, just now? I didn't look then. The baby disappeared? Yeah, the baby's not supposed to be there. Okay. Soap in the bathroom. I don't see no soap. Was there supposed to be soap? Pills? Pills are fine. Right? We're good? Hey, Sonny, you're welcome. One ring dragon, they give you the eight months. 
Okay, uh, hopefully we really, really, really do not want to die right now. That would be bad. I mean, it's fine. We could do another run, but we would like to not. There's supposed to be soap, missing object in the toilet. All right. Hopefully we don't get... We don't miss another one because of that. Cup in the dining room moved. This one? Or this, this one? Is there a cup missing? Or did this move? Missing or moved? Oh, God. Oh, thank you. Is that missing or moved? I'm gonna say moved, because you guys are saying moved. It moved over here? At least we got the soap. That's very good. Come on. Please. Just- Yes! Let's go. Okay, now we're probably good. Probably saved. Thank you, guys. I w there, I would have probably died without you. So, thank you for saving me. You saved me. Square. Balcony square. Get out of here. What's the point of the game? Oh, th that's been my favorite question recently. What's the point of games? <laughs> It's the- the point is to report everything and win. Door! Opening the door. One, that's the point. Carceloni, thank you- Yes! Whoa, we missed three?! Oh, well, we got that one. So there you go, we were pretty close to dying that whole time. Dust off the other achievements. So now, we gotta hop back in the, uh, old house. And we gotta do the secret ending because let's see, right? Uh, in terms of achievements, what have what have we done? We have okay. He's gonna he's gonna beepity boop. We need to discover the secret. We need to die, and we need to listen to the secret message. So what we gotta do now is we need to discover the secret, which I think the time we can do that is at 1 a.m. So we have to click on this thing at 1 a.m. to discover the secret, uh, and then I think we get. This achievement, and this achievement both, I think. And then for this one, we just gotta die, which we... I mean... We'll see. We'll see if we can do that fast. Then we just gotta spam reports to die. So we need to do two more runs to get all the achievements, and then we have completed it. 100%. So we just gotta... We just gotta survive... I think we gotta survive until 3 a.m. to get the secret ending, which still means we need to pay attention. We can't just slack off. Um, we gotta actually get him. Is the same layout? Yes. This is the same map we just were. We just were on. Yeah, did this- these games have been made so fast. Like, Observation Duty 5 came out at, a, like, a speed- speed run pace. What were we missing, though? Wait, like, was the cigarette missing, maybe? Like, that's something subtle. The guitar was in the same spot, because we were missing the three things. Three anomalies, or uh, two anomalies, because we saw the door, right? So there were two anomalies active at the time that we ended. Hmm. I don't know. The sig was still there. Interesting. Maybe the box is here or something? I don't know. Can we get our first anomaly? I guess I could spam wrong anomalies, but there's really no reason to get a lot of anomalies because we already got the special intruder here. I can't believe we got both of those. That could totally take you, like, many runs. Like, you you have to do... Like, I remember the first time we played. I don't think I found a Huge Man. The first... Did I? Maybe I did find Huge Man the first time I played, but then we died to it because the reporting is so weird. Box on the table. Uh, baby? Hi there, baby. It's Dobby again. Get out of here. Get out of here, baby. That's a little dude. Get away from me. Is that the same dude that is, like, in the bathroom? I've already found two new intruders that I have... Ne two, at least, new intruders that I have never seen in my, like, old time playing this game. Which is why... Like, that's why this game is so fun. Because even after you've played it so many times, you can still get... Uh, new intruders and new anomalies. Like, it's, they're so fun to replay. And especially because you get so... You get so much better at them. 
that you have a much lower chance of dying. Because when you first start playing this game, there's almost no chance that you play your first playthrough of this game and beat it first try. There's almost no chance. Unless you're like an insane gamer. You need to have some knowledge. Because I don't, I don't think we want it as well. Special intruder. Yeah, we already found the special intruder. I can't believe the first thing we got this round was an intruder. <laughs> By the way, that was the first uh, anomaly. Because usually it feels like they only start showing up. Oh, yeah, you're right. The soap was here. I didn't even know they could disappear. Thank you. That's, that was a well spotted. The cigarette moved? Did it? Yeah, the cigarette! There you go. We paid attention to that. And now it's gone. It is gone. I don't have to hide my stogies like you. <laughs> what is the exact line? I forget. Unlike you. <laughs> Fucking artists. <laughs> you guys watch that video? It was her father who introduced it to me. What's she gonna do? <laughs> Unlike you. So stupid. Because I'm a stud. I don't take shit from nobody. God damn. <laughs> uh, nice chair. Nice chair. Uh, that's an object movement right there. Unlike you. Janice, thank you for the 10 months. You too. Thank you for the prime. Thank you. Thank you. This pill, what? No, okay, so now we gotta click this. Balcony. 330. Input. Year. Of. Mandela's death. So we got the secret message, and then we need to go to the balcony at 3.30 and fill in 2013. Uh, as a spe- we can't do that yet. When you- when it reaches 3.30, you get a special new report. And then I think- we literally get it. So that was the- that was that. That was the- that's what I hoped. And I think the secret, if you do the secret ending, you get this one. And then we just need to die, and then we've gotten all achievement. In pretty much the fastest you could possibly do this, because we've done it in four runs then. We just gotta make sure we die fast. <laughs> and and the way we die fast is just spam the anomalies. Because there should be more that spawn. I think we're gonna go to the first the new house because I think the new house Hi there. <laughs> Kitchen. I think this is the only other on this map. Uh other. Ooh, he's playing he's playing hide and seek. New house. Yeah, we're going new house to just spam the shit out of that. Hi there. Get out of here. Living room picture of a ghost? No, that's always there. That's normal. Yeah, this is this picture always has a ghost in there. This one also looks like that always. Good die right now. No, 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 we still... Because I think when you do the secret ending, if we don't... I think the secret ending ends the game. So we have to get the 330 to get the secret ending, get the achievement, and then die. We can, we still got to get there. So we have to get the 330. Well, we got that. Easily. Nothing's out of place. This cup can move, too. I love this game. Me too. It's so fun. Alrighty. Is that it? What's in this picture? Looks like trees. Yeah, I definitely want to play. If we talk so much about Welcome to the Game during this video, I definitely want to play. Welcome to the Game 2 again. Maybe just all of them, really. But waiting room is also fun. I'll make you pick the game. I, I We talked about that at the very beginning of today, or of this playthrough. Um... Someone just in the comments suggested the game to to me. Was like, hey, you you should check out this. I don't even know how they found it. Maybe they just randomly stumbled upon it on on Steam. Because the game when I played it had like no one knew about this game. Like there were not there was nothing on on YouTube. No one played it. And it's like the perfect streamer game. Cause you really like playing this by yourself, I don't think really works. 
I, I mean, it does. It does work, but like, you suck. <laughs> You're bad. So, playing it successfully is much easier with the uh, with you guys. John Wolf plays it like two, three days before I did. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. John Wolf uh, picked up the game because people suggested it after I played it, which is not. I'm not trying to one up anyone, but like it's just incorrect. <laughs> this, I'm not. I'm not. I do that all the time. All the time, I see someone play a game and I'm like, "Hey, that game looks cool. I want to play that too." So it's, it's not a knock on anyone, but it's just not true. I do that all the time too. Cop moved? No. Dad moved. Toilet. Object to movement. Boom. Right over there. Pills. We need to check that too. The pills are very easy. Dude, I forget how slow the reporting is. I'm just waiting there to see it change and then it just takes so long. I do think that... Uh, because I think they do that in para eyes, right? In para eyes, when you click on an object, it reports it, and then it changes on while you're looking at it. Which in this game they have that too. I think because the anomalies can appear, right? So they could also disappear in the same way. So it would be kind of fun to see the anomalies disappear, which all of them do like a black screen, and then sh and then show you the changed room. I don't know. Maybe it would take some of the magic away. I don't know. Wait, pills? No, the pills are still the same. Number three, the, the, this, yeah, number three. That's why, that's why there's some people that actually think number three is their favorite, or say that number three is their favorite, or number three is their favorite. They, they're not lying. <laughs> because it is, oh, hi there. Yeah, ghost. Because they like to see the anomalies disappear. Wait, there's no ghosts. I guess it's an uh, intruder. He's waving. <laughs> He's waving at us. Get out of there, though. Get out of my of my lawn. Wait. Oh, there is a ghost. I'm just blind. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> I don't know. Did we even report a ghost last time at all? Come on. What if you die at the exact... Wait, you know what? Like, that could be the way... Like, that would be a speedrun tech to beat. What if you could die... Like, you get the secret ending... Right as... You also die... Would you then... Get both achievements... At the same time? That would be a way to beat this run. If that's how... If you can do that... That would be... Uh, that'd be a speedrun strat. We're not gonna do that, obviously, but like in a speed run, it, that you would have to do that to get the best time. That's how it is. Living room picture. I don't see it. I don't see it. Something missing from the living room table. There's a no. Nope. Everything is going fine. We just need to survive one more hour, and then we got it. The dark one? Excuse me. Hey, Balak. Balak, what's up? Balake. Alright, have a good one. Have a good one, Pug the Sniper. That ball is under the, uh, under the balcony table. I know, that ball is very sneaky. Living room box. Box missing? Living room? Okay. I'll do it. I'll believe. I don't... Is, it, is there another box here? Oh! Right there! Yeah, you're right. Oh, that one must have been missing. Previous... Previously. Yes! That's a sneaky box. I wonder how fast we can die. Oh, hi there. I think you can die pretty fast. Maybe, especially if you spam. Shadow anomaly boop. How are your eyes not a shadow? Do you have like holes in your face? 
that go through the <laughs> through the back of your head. That doesn't. Really, that must look really weird. <laughs> Obviously, that's not how shadows work. It's science. Soap still there? All right, come on. Pills? No, pills are fine. Hey, Maki, what's up? No, this is not a new update. This is Observation Duty 1, the first one, where it all began. But we are getting all of the achievements, which we've actually done that in the fastest time basically possible. Which is pretty neat. I don't know if there's just, I don't know if there's even a speedrun page for this game. Probably. When there's a, when there's a, a game that anyone cares about, someone is like, I'm gonna make the speedrun page. And then no one does anything with it. There should be now. I mean, this one, this is actually like, this is the only speedrun, basically. Like, all achievements will be the only category because anything else would do, would be meaningless. I mean, still, this is kind of an, Unless there's some tech you can do to, like... Like, if there's tech to what I just explained... Oh, hi there. Um, what I just explained where you can, like, combine the secret ending and dying. Like, that would be tech, which you could, like... Would be a trick you could do to actually beat the game. Um, or, like, beat it faster. But otherwise, there's literally no tech. It's just, like, there's a perfect run. Because, I guess the only time you can lose is, like, after you beat the level, get into the next level as soon as possible. Like, that's the only thing you could do slightly faster. But, because it's time-based, right? You can't just, like, make the time go faster. You just have to wait. That's not really a thing for speedruns. Living room chair. I think it's the same. This one? I don't know. Okay, so 30 minutes from now, it happens. Can't do this yet. You check, there is no page for it on speedrun.com. Damn. Bang. Bang. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Who would speedrun this game? I mean, the, that's the only thing. The only thing you could speedrun is the all achievements run, because there's a little bit of strat to it, but barely anything. I still think that if you check the scrutinize, like, there's a few runs on the scrutinized leaderboard where there's just, like, only, only me, whoever did it. Dong. Dong. There's gotta be something. Movement. Movement? No movement. 20 minutes. Come on. We can do this. Maybe there will be... A nice bed? Who did that, huh? Who moved that? Move it back. Have I ever had pepperoni stuffed crust? I don't think I've ever had a stuffed crust pizza. I'm probably missing out. I'm missing out on the finer things in life. It's so good. I, maybe. I think I when I was in the US the last time, I might have had one. I think we ordered. Oh, yeah, we were in it. I think we ordered one. I think we were in a hotel and we ordered one. I don't remember, though. I don't, like, remember... It very it wasn't it wasn't the most impactful memory. <laughs> but yeah, I it's it's cheese, so it's yummy no matter what you do. It's it's just kinda a cheat code. It's a cheese code if you will if you will. <laughs> I'm here every day. Ten minutes, come on. Seven minutes. So we can't actually report. We basically can't report anymore. Because if we report now, we're gonna... Yeah, we, we can't report. We have to just wait here. Because if we report, we miss out on the chance to do this report. Can we do it already? We cannot do it already. Wait. 2013. I hope it... I don't think it does... It was the year only, right? Come on. Input. Uh, send. Wait, I did bedroom! <laughs> you can do that? <laughs> I thought you could only report the input for the <laughs> for the balcony. Okay, here we go. Balcony. 
I threw <laughs> the speed run. Oh no! Now let this be a challenge. See if you can beat me because I just lost some time. You can do this. Okay, let me fill it in though. Enter code 2013. Boom. And hopefully this counts, right? This is the. There you go! Hello, Timothy! It's a black screen. Boop the snoot. Boop the snoot. I'm booping. Ah. Ow! <laughs> you piece of shit. That doesn't count as dying, though. I'm pretty sure. So now we need to get back in. Uh, why did you do this? Yes. Okay, new game, new house, boom. And then we gotta die. So what we're gonna do now is we need to just report as many wrong things as possible. Uh, so let me, let me refresh this. We just need to die. The last, this reminds me of the welcome to the game two, uh, speed run because in the welcome to the game two, I don't think it, let's do, oh, there's no other because in the welcome to the game two speed run, the last thing you do is also die <laughs> because there's an achievement to die. So it's, it's, we truly have come full circle. So just, just spam as much as possible. We don't want to get anything right. So why don't we just kitchen, kitchen, ghost, kitchen, ghost. We're just going to stay here. Hopefully there'll never be a ghost. Just kill us. Kill me. <laughs> you want to not find the anomalies. If we report one, that'd be terrible. Because, I mean, we do want to do reports because every time you report, there's a chance that a new anomaly spawns. So we just want to create as many as possible. This is, this is actual speedrun tech. Actual tech. How do you die? I've just been so good that you guys forget that you can die in this game. I mean, we've gotten two warnings. Come on. Anomalies are friends. Don't report them. Can huge man kills. Oh, yeah. What if we, what if you get an anomaly? Wait, if you get an anomaly, you can also die. Wait, that'd actually be, that'd be the fastest way. That'd be the strat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess that could be something that you could make it a little faster. So this will be the first thing you do in the speed run rather than the last thing then. Because you want to just get die as fast as possible and then get huge man in the other thing. Because you, that's the thing. That's how I scheduled or how, how I routed the, um, the Welcome to the Game 2 speed run. Like I, obviously there should be a certain order to it. But also, you should start with the hardest things first, because if you fail the hardest things, you can reset. If you start with the easiest things, then you'll always do that. And then if you fail later on, you have to do that all over again. So, die to huge man. That would be amazing. Any intruders? No? I don't even see anything wrong. Oh, the pill box is missing? Maybe. Come on. Ding dong. Anyone here? Pillbox has moved. Uh, nothing here. Nothing here. Is there really only one anomaly so far? Fuck. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bullshit. Kill us. We want to die. Go, 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 go. We want huge man. Nothing. It's actually just one. Unlucky. Unlucky. Summon the big man. Yeah. I mean, in time we will die, no matter what. There's really not- This this is the most stressless uh, thing you have to do in this game, because we don't have to report- I mean, I guess we don't even want to report. That door open, alright, we got two? Two anomalies? We need four, I think, or five to die. I'm pretty sure. I think at four, it warns you, or three or four, it warns you, and then at four or five, you die. Just one more, I think. Maybe? Does it really, is it really that strict? I guess it is. All right, this reporting might not have the biggest effect. 
of all time. Like, it might do very little. Or only start doing a lot after a certain amount of time, which is completely useless to us, because we want to die ASAP. It's, it's kind of funny to get this achievement last, because most people would get this achievement first. That's, that's a true power move right there. <laughs> Come on. Murder me! Any intruders who want to kill me? Maybe it would have been better to... Well, no, this map has a lot of intruders that can kill you. Come on, that would be the most epic way to die. Any intruders in chat? There you go! Okay! Warning! Perfect. What? One there. What are the in in intruders? Or the things? Carcelooney, thank you for the 10 gift subs! Thank you! Oh, the guitar here. Wait, the guitar moved or something? A uh, barrel! The barrel, the go up there, this, so that's three. Now we can see at what amount of anomalies you die. Come on. 1 a.m. It's time to die. Time to say goodbye. I wonder if you could really get, I mean, I guess if you just get super lucky, you get huge man like right away or something. You could get killed earlier, but. It's gonna be rough. Yeah, I think there's only three. May three? It looks like. I mean, three that I actively recognize. There might be a sneaky one, though. Come on. Come on. You give me too much. Do you give me too much time to survive? This is rude. You gotta kill me. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Just anything appears now, we're dead. Still survived 10 minutes after shaking. So that's four. So you can't have four active and not be dead. Interesting. There you go. <laughs> Stop the timer. Well, <laughs> too many anomalies active. Mission failed. Screenshot. There you go. Wait, no, that's me taking a screenshot. What the fuck? There you go! Stop the timer, we have done it! All achievements have been completed in observ- I'm on observation duty one. Awesome. Let me know if you want to see this for all observation duty games, because they've added them to all of them, and I think we only have achievements for the last game, because I remember last time we played Observation Duty 4, right the day after I uploaded the video, they added the achievement. So yeah, we could do it for all f the first four ones, because I think for the fifth one, we obviously got a few achievements already. Uh, but yeah, uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun for me. I can't believe we did it so fast. So yeah, four anom I guess four anomalies? Wait, that's interesting. So the way you die in this game, is after four anomalies show up, you get still a little bit of time, and then you die. Because I remember seeing the chair, the door, the bottle, and the the barrel. So there were four anomalies, and then it still lasted a little bit, and then we died. So yeah, that's how it works. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, just like it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. Every single day at 7 p.m. Central European Top. Thank you very much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye, guys.